Hello everyone, I am Kavan Krishna Prasad from Informatica GCS. This is a part 3 video of data quality in CDGC. In the previous videos, we saw about the data quality and how to create rule occurrence in CDGC and CDP. In this video, we are going to see about how to create data quality rule template in CDGC. The agenda for the today's session is what is a data quality rule template, data quality automation options available in MCC, demonstration on how to create data quality rule template with DQ options. Data quality rule template is used to achieve DQ automation in CDGC where it creates the rule occurrence automatically also called as auto ROs. Rule template uses the primary glossary as business term and it creates the auto rule occurrences for all the columns associated with the business term. Unlike the data quality rule occurrences, the user cannot run the auto ROs created by the rule template through the run now options. This auto ROs can only be executed through the data quality job from MCC. Run now option is only to the manually created rule occurrence in CDGC also called as data quality rule occurrence. If we see the rule template image, it uses primary glossary as a business term and the total number of rule occurrence created is 3 and that is due to the business term is stacked with the 3 data elements or columns. This can be verified from the relationship tab of the business term. Now we will see what are all the DQ options available in MCC to execute the rule template. There are two options using which auto ROs can be created. Depends upon the business use case, the user can select the appropriate options for the DQ automation. The first option is apply on all data elements. By selecting this options, rule template will create the auto ROs for all the data elements which are associated with business term. And the next option is apply on data elements linked with business data set. This option creates auto ROs for the data elements which are associated with business term and the data elements tagged to a business data set. Here both the conditions should satisfy. Also data elements can be associated with any of the data set. Now we will see how to create data quality rule template with these options to create auto ROs with live demonstration. I have already created two oracle catalog sources. Both the catalog source has the same data elements. I have created two because to differentiate the DQ automation options implementation. This table called customers has three data elements and it is extracted using the catalog source called DQ automation demo. And this is the next catalog source. It has the same table and same data elements and it is extracted using a catalog source called DQ automation demo 2. I have created a business term called DQ automation 1 and tagged to all the data elements in the first catalog source. And similarly, I have created another business term called DQ automation 2 and tagged to all the data elements which is extracted using the second catalog source. In addition to that, I have created a data set and tagged only two elements to it. If we see the second catalog source, it has a three data elements, customer ID, customer name and customer city. Among those, I have, I have associated only customer ID and customer name to the data set. Also, we can confirm from here that it is coming from the hierarchy of DQ automation demo 2 and, uh, and the glossary called DQ automation 2 is tagged to it. So for both the catalog source, if you use a DQ automation option as apply on all data element, then it should create rule occurrence for all the three data elements because in both the business term is tagged with all the three data elements. But for the second catalog source, if you use option apply on data elements linked with the business data set, then the expected behavior is it should create only two auto rule occurrence. And that is because only two data elements are associated to the data set. Now let's create data quality rule template. To do so, click on new business rules, data quality rule template, create. Enter the value to the mandatory fields such as name, dimensions and measuring method. And the description I am giving is apply on all data elements. Dimensions and measuring methods are only used for auditing purpose and it doesn't have any functionality behavior. By default, the DQ rules will be evaluated on Informatica Cloud Data Quality. Next, select the business term which is tagged with the data elements. This rule template is to show how apply on all data elements works. So let me select the business term which is tagged to all the data elements which is extracted using the catalog source one.
in the technical rule reference select the rule specifications created in cdq user can also use clear recommendation to create rule logic since i have created rule logic for null check in cloud data quality so let me use the same Once the rule is selected, please ensure that this automation checkbox is enabled. If this option is not enabled, then the auto ROS will not be created. Then next enter the target and threshold value based on your recommendations. Once the values are entered, click on create. The rule template is created. Here initially we can see zero rule occurrences because this rule template is not executed. The rule template creation process remains same in both the options. Only the execution and the auto ROS creation functionality will vary depending upon the options that the user selected. Now let me create one more rule template to show how the next option works which is apply on data elements linked with the business data set. Here, I will be selecting the business term which is tagged to a data element as well as data element associated to the business data set. In our use case, the business term will be DQ Automation 2. Remaining things will remain same. Click on OK. Let me enter target and threshold value. The user can select the frequency if this DQ rule needs to be executed in periodical basis. Now the rule templates are created. Let's go to MCC to configure the DQ job for the respective catalog source using which those data elements got extracted. Now I am in the catalog source called DQ Automation Demo 1. Now go to Data Profiling and Quality section. Click on Data Quality. Enable Data Quality. Select the runtime environment using which the data quality job has to be executed. To execute the data quality rule template, the data quality automation has to be set as yes. Then it will ask you to select the options using which the rule template has to be executed. Our first scenario is to check the functionality on apply on all data elements. So let me select that. You can set the remaining parameters based on your use case. I will leave as it is. And let me save this configurations. Now we can run the DQ job. Since the metadata is already extracted, so let me disable it. The DQ job has been triggered. Once the job is completed, our expectation here is to see three rule occurrence has to be created for the rule template because the business term using which template is created is tagged with three data elements in this catalog source. If the data elements are present across the multiple catalog sources, then the user has to configure the DQ job in all the respective catalog source and need to run it. This job will take some time. Let's wait. So now the DQ job has been completed successfully. Let me scroll down. Here we can see the list of rule occurrence got created and the list of objects got profiled. This object refers to the table. Since all the data elements which is tagged with the business term comes under the same table called customer, so we can see here one object got profiled successfully. Let me go to DGC and uh, let me go to the rule template one. Let me, since initially it was zero rule occurrence, let me click, let me refresh here. 
here we can see three rule occurrence got created so these rule occurrences are called as auto rule occurrences to differentiate the auto rule occurrence from manually created rule occurrence the auto rule occurrence names will all, always starts with auto so using that naming convention we can differentiate the manually created data quality rule occurrence from the rule occurrence which is created through the rule template also we can see here the corresponding primary data elements to the auto ROs this data quality rule template occurrences still remain zero because the this primary glossary is tagged to a data elements and those data elements are extracted using the catalog source called DQ automation demo 2 so let's see how the next option work go to metadata command center and navigate to the respective catalog sources on which data elements are tagged with the business term as well as the data element associated with business data sets in our scenario it will be DQ automation demo 2 go to data quality enable data quality select the runtime environment set the DQ automation as yes and now select the option as apply on data elements linked to the business data set save these configurations now execute the DQ job since the metadata is already extracted let me exclude from the current run a new job has been triggered for the respective catalog source so this will take some time so now the DQ job is completed successfully let me scroll down so here we can see uh, two rule occurrence got created successfully and also the object got profiled without any errors let me go to DGC and data quality rule template initially it was zero let me refresh here as expected here we can see two rule occurrence got created if we go to the business term this is tagged with three columns but still only two rule occurrence got created and that is because this particular data elements got tagged with business data set as well so this is the main difference between these two DQ automation options and this is how data quality rule template will create auto rule occurrences with these options you can refer to the following article for more information the master KB which is displayed on the screen will teach you how to use data quality rules on data elements in CDGC from scratch. You can also find the master KB link in the video description. We would love to hear from you. You can give your feedback about this support video in the link displayed on the screen as well as in the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.